Hey, welcome to a super special edition of Rock the Talk. I have with me 15-time Olympic medalist when it comes to social media. I'm just kidding. She is a fantastic content creator. She is uh, an, uh, a social media marketing influencer, uh, a TEDx speaker. Well, the list goes on. The one and only Anukar Gada. Thank you so much for joining us on Rock the Talk. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure. Now, uh, <laughs> We've been, you know, looking at your Insta profile and, uh, you know, seeing uh, the various content that you've been creating, um, uh, mostly funny. And uh, just, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great to see, uh, you know, some happy stuff happening on our Insta handles. Now, when did it dawn on you, Anu, that this is the path that I'm going to take? You know, I'm going to be, I'm good at this. And uh, what are the challenges that uh, you faced, if any? I started consuming content when I was in school itself. I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos and that sort of inspired me to create content today. I mean, I used to watch a lot of vloggers like David Dobrik and so many other people where they used to like tell stories in their own way and like through editing. And you know, it's, I felt I was so amused by the whole storytelling process through your own, I mean, it's like art, right? So that is what kind of inspired me. So that's when I knew that, okay, I have to do something in this field. But I didn't know I will end up doing reels, but something on YouTube and stuff like that. So basically content. So but that's it, why. That's you know, why. like a lot of people who uh, aren't into this, they think this is very easy. You know, take your phone, uh, put it on selfie mode and go for it. But uh, it needs yeah, including my mom. Who thinks it's very <laughs> <laughs> no, but it needs a lot of spontaneity. You need to be, um, you know, in tune with what's, uh, you know, trending. Uh, how difficult or easy is that? I mean, the main part, the main difficult part that I think any cre content creator goes through is uh, go through is uh, basically scripting, right. and video shooting and editing is pretty much easy, I think, compared to coming up with the concept and coming up with funny ideas right. is the main uh, challenging part of the whole process and then once the script is ready once you have the concept in hand then it's sort of easy to shoot and edit and stuff like that so that is the challenging now, part now you've got about uh, 440,000 odd uh, uh, followers on Instagram which is the population of uh, Fiji Islands now uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a big responsibility when you have uh, uh, such a big fan following, um, especially with the sensitivity that one needs to take care of. Um, uh, have you, and the internet being, a, it could be a very toxic place. I'm also on a YouTube channel and uh, we get yeah. busted every three weeks by somebody from, you know, another country because we said something offensive. But um, how do you, uh, how do I say this, but how do you manage to, you know, maintain that line? in order not to be trolled or have you been trolled at any point of time trolled in the sense like from my own videos yeah they i have they have a lot of like reposts and stuff like that of my videos or a part of my video and stuff like that but that's all very not so toxic kind of i've never really been through any like toxic trolling and stuff like that hopefully touch wood yeah. <laughs> and then uh, uh, but yeah you have to be sort of sensitive when posting because there are x number of people following you but i do not consider myself an influencer that word is very i don't know weird to me i'm not influencing anybody i have um, i mean i have x number of people following me but it's all i'm just here to entertain that's it i'm not here to give any sort of um, what do you say like major opinions and stuff like that it's very right. like casual and since i do comedy content it's but very, uh, it's light hearted it's light hearted content yeah, that's yeah, it's very light hearted and uh, obviously that responsibility is there i mean so many people are following you and few people may uh, you know get influenced and stuff like that but very light hearted is what uh, i keep my stories or co reel or anything like that so it's just like <laughs> just to uh, step aside why don't you call yourself annapurna instead of Anu, because Annapurna is okay, a very Now that good... name is already revealed, everybody has started calling me Annapurna <laughs> now. The thing is, my uh, dad name gave me that I, name, okay? Yeah. But uh, it's just in the documents, nobody really calls me Annapurna in my life, my whole life, not even teachers. It's just attendance, me and like, uh, only in like attendance and documents, nobody calls me Annapurna. But I I'm like, why is my name even that? Annapurna is 
<laughs> but I, I found that very funny uh, that your dad actually went down the street, asked the kid, "What's your name?" And came yeah, back and named you that. Yeah, and in my dad's head, it was like, "Wow, such a beautiful name. Let's just name my child that." And I'm like, "Yeah, okay." My friend's ma, uh, my friend's grandma's name is Annapurna. Like, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> now, but now Anu for uh, uh, people who want to. Uh, uh, who aspire to become what uh, you are want to do what you are doing what are the uh, boxes that they need to tick i mean they just have to be uh, ex- i mean they just have to be creative i think uh, if they want to make comedy reel or any kind of content i think they have to explore and try out different kind of content uh, and then it's just like you cannot really start making content just to gain x number of followers or just to gain that popularity first you just got to start because of your own passion right. and i think uh, through that is when you can sort of that comes hand in hand so followers keep coming so i think uh, once if you're passionate about something and you have to just put out content no matter how many views you're getting or anything like that you just do not have to worry about that in the beginning you just got to keep posting and be consistent and uh, followers come hand in hand i think <laughs> But Anu, since you're so popular on Instagram, why why haven't you flirted with the idea of actually going on long format videos such as YouTube? I mean, people would love to see you for a little more time rather than those twenty <laughs> seconds that you <laughs> pop up on our screen. Yeah, I mean, uh, when I watch, when I was consuming a lot of content during my school days, long form comedy content was a huge thing. Like everybody were doing it, and like a good ten minutes skit and stuff like that. But right. right now, I think that doesn't. That's not trending, or that's not. I mean, I personally wouldn't watch a ten-minute uh, skit, comedy skit, personally. So right. I don't want to create something that I do not like or I do not enjoy. So maybe vlogs and stuff like that. I've been saying this from a long time that maybe I should sort of start uh, on YouTube and stuff like that. It's a lot of work, but uh, somewhere in the future, maybe this year. Oh, I may start. <laughs> and your folks have been supportive with what you do because you work out of your bedroom, as you had said, mentioned once. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I so, mean, in the beginning, my parents were like, "Okay, she's just dressing up and shooting <laughs> videos, and she's getting into all these characters." But later, I mean, once uh, you know, people start recognizing you in public when you are out with them. they're sort of like okay this is pretty serious now <laughs> maybe they thought something like that but uh, now they're pretty happy about it in the beginning even though they do not accept it as a proper job job but uh, they sort of get it at least my dad gets it so <laughs> right, my right. mom is still like kaya she's finished ba and uh, <laughs> yeah there's a pause there she doesn't know what to tell you <laughs> no matter how many times i try to explain there's this content creation it's a full time job and everything but still it's It's okay. It's fun. <laughs> that that's the time when you need to buy your mom her favorite cheesecake. See, I've done my research. I've done <laughs> research. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you've done a good. You've done good research. Yeah. Nice research. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Now, um, for those watching this and those listening to you on air, what do you have to say? A message from uh, you. Oh, thank you so much, guys, for listening and watching, uh, for constantly supporting and watching my content on Instagram. Uh, I'm just really, really grateful uh, to receive all the love that you guys give me, and I'm just extremely grateful. <laughs> thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, Annapurna, aka Anu, absolute pleasure having you on this session of Rock the Talk, and uh, we wish you. <laughs> all success in everything that you want to achieve and you take care of yourself it was a pleasure having you here on rock the talk thank you thank you so much for having me it was great being on the show thank you so much thank you anu thank you cheers cheers <laughs>